Yes. So at Late Night Art, we are stringing together a series of different activities that build on each other and create an arc. So it's a really memorable experience that people are going through over about 90 minutes to two hours. And just to, to make it a little bit more tangible, one of the activities that we often lead is called Board of Advisors. And whether we're doing this virtually or in person, this activity has been uh, an incredible um, way to help create a collaborative environment where people are solving each other's problems. So if we're in person, we're getting people to think about a challenge that they're facing um, personally, that's something that's a little bit vulnerable. They're writing it down on the table anonymously, and we're getting people to move around the room and create a mind map of different responses around every single question. And when we get them to come back to their seats, they form groups of three and they do a little peer coaching. And what starts to happen is that people realize that they could be some incredible advice and new ideas that come from people inside of the organization that they would never normally ask for support. I remember seeing the CEO um, in a private equity firm getting advice from an intern who had just started one week ago, who was about 30 years younger than him. And I just don't think that would ever normally happen. Um, and I love creating environments where people can connect across the different roles that they play that kind of rele uh, releases the hierarchy inside of an organization and that allows people to share their unique perspective and wisdom with each other in a way that really gets people to think differently. So that's just one example of one of the activities that we use. Um, and it looks very different um, virtually, but is equally as effective. Uh, so we recently, um, we did an event with the Adobe design team. And so they're based all across the world. So we did three separate events in one day with three different regions. And so I woke up at 1 a.m. to work with the team in India. I remember doing push-ups just to get riled up before the event. And one of the really memorable moments is that we led them in part of the experience through a movement exercise where people were mirroring a movement that one person was doing. And it was really getting the entire team in sync. And I just remember I played a Bhangra song like during that activity and the smiles and the laughter and the connection and just how engaged the entire team was, was beautiful to watch. And we had so many comments and feedback after of just how enlivening it was and how connected people felt. Um, and just also how they appreciated the musical element of what we were doing. So the shift that happens when we lead late night art is that we take a team that may be strangers, that may be surface level colleagues, that may be isolated or siloed, and we move them to a space where people feel real friendships with their colleagues. They feel a real sense of connection. That's a memorable shared experience, and they feel like they're part of something bigger. The current moment that we're in after COVID, um, the top challenge that almost all of our clients are having is we feel disconnected. Um, there's silos, we feel like we don't know each other. A lot of our teams have no idea what the others are doing. And so this is the top thing that we're consistently hearing. The number two thing is around onboarding. Um, as people are coming into organizations, figuring out how can we make onboarding more human um, and not let people fall through the cracks. That's a word that a lot of our clients are using as people are coming in and they're feeling anonymous or they're feeling like a number um, and they're not necessarily feeling seen and heard in the process. So we help clients with that. And the final thing that I'll talk about is leadership alignment. So how do we help a group of executives and the folks who are running an organization feel extremely connected and on the same page with each other, both personally and professionally, so that they can do their best work. So I know that DH is supporting clients and identifying their purpose and their values. What Late Night Art can offer is a really memorable and powerful 90 minute or two hour experience that really puts values into action and also acts as a culture reset. So after COVID, um, offsites and bringing teams together, whether quarterly or annually or however teams do it, is extraordinarily important. And more than just doing their strategic planning, really emphasizing the connection is uh, more important than ever. So 
What we found is that we can do that in an extremely short period of time, and we can help teams connect in a, in a way that they'll never forget, that can act as the new moment that kind of begins the, the new structure of the team after they've hired uh, and people have moved on. And so I think wherever teams are at um, in the process of working with DH, um, what Lay Night Art does can be both uh, a catalyst and a, be a new beginning, and it can also be a powerful period or an ending integration.